Please welcome my friends Val Schmerkowski and Jenna Johnson. <laughs> in so long. Yes. This was, and it, it, like, seeing you takes me back to my Dancing with the Stars days. Um, and I don't know if you remember the nickname that you gave me when we would dance together. Uh, yes, I do. Was so, so in my family, we add the chka when we want to show terms of endearment. So sherichka was sherichka. my... Sherichka. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Cause you used to give it to me because Val was so like you were so hard on me. Like you were so sweet, but Val was so hard to be like, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And I would be crying and he'd go, and he'd go, Sharichka, and that would make me feel so much better. <laughs> Listen, first of all, if you remember, this was 12 years ago. It was 12 like, years 12 ago. 12 years. I know, I can't. I was trying to prove myself. Huh? I was trying to prove myself on the show. Yeah, that's I, right. I didn't, I didn't think they were gonna hire me back. So I was like, Sharichka. Let's get our counts, bro. Let's get our counts. And you did it, and we had a good time. And now, Jenna, I, you know this girl. You know I had a massive crush on Val. Who doesn't? I know. Let's you, be honest. You just can't help it. I mean, he's just so, he's so doggone gorgeous. He is. He is. And I'm so oh. glad. Look at it. Always. Oh. Oh. Now, let me tell you something. Now, Jenna, I don't know. Did he, for me, Val never had a shirt on. It was yeah. it, like when he when he came, you know, like walking around the house. Is he walking around with no shirt on? I mean, we're lucky if he has pants on that Ooh. day. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. But honestly, if you look that gorgeous under there, why not show it off, right, Barry? I'm, uh, I'm getting hot. <laughs> I'm getting hot inside the sweater. Neil, you, you have to tell me this because I, you know, I know Val was always about wanting to be married and be in a relationship, even when I, when I would dance with him. Yeah. So how did he make the moves on you, girl? We have two different stories uh, when it comes to this, uh -huh. but I was 19 years old. Okay. I had just competed on So You Think You Can Dance. Right. And I got hired for Dancing with the Stars, and this was like my dream gig. Yes. So I'm the only new person that season. Mm -hmm. Everybody else kind of knew each other, you know, had relationships already. <laughs> I walk in my first day, and yeah. I am like shaking in my boots, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And we randomly got partnered together. The dream kept getting better and better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got partnered together for this group dance. Yes. And I'm trying to be so professional, and okay. he's just like in my ear the whole time. He's like, in his little accent. It was like a bit more Brooklyn back then. It's yeah. been a couple of years, you know? He was like, you know you could bottle my sweat at source. I was like, what? <laughs> I did not say that. He said you, you could bottle my you, sweat. You could, you could sell my sweat. It smells so good. I mean, he does smell very an, good. I had an entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. I know your entrepreneurial spirit, but Val, like, you, I'm going to get fired. I'm going to get fired. You, you really went up to Jenna and said, my sweat smells good. Well, she, first of all, she's leaving out the part where she commented on how sweaty I was in the first place. OK. And I said, you know, you know, said, I had to. You know, sweaty, not I like. Said, you're welcome. <laughs> And I tell you that you I mean, it works. It clearly. works. <laughs> how long have you been married now? We just... We're celebrate five years. Yeah. Five years wow. married. Yeah. Yeah. This is so awesome. And congratulations, because you have a baby, baby boy, yeah. Rome. He's one year he old. He just turned one year old. one. Looks like a good combo of both of you. He also doesn't wear a shirt. No. He doesn't. <laughs> He's learning like from father, himself. like son. <laughs> Now tell me, I say motherhood looks so beautiful on you. Look, look Thank at y'all with you. the smash the cake in the face picture. But like, I know. Tell me how parenthood is. It's honestly, I think from from when the first time we started dating, I think kids became a big part of our relationship and just yeah. talking about wanting to have kids together. Um, and I always knew that I wanted to be a mother. Yeah. Becoming a mother has been a dream come true. It really has. It is the hardest job ever, um, but it's so fulfilling, so rewarding. Okay. And I have this one as a daddy. I knew that he was going to be great, but to see him with our son, I mean, it's it's beyond. I thought I loved him, and uh. I love him. It's just, 
I'm so lucky to, to raise our son with him. He's, he's the best. Okay, so this is what I wanted to know. Like, okay, so you got music in the family because you play the violin, you play the guitar, you both are dancers. Yeah. So is Rome going to be a musician or a dancer or president? Which, which one? <laughs> what is he gonna be? Uh, 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 I just want him to be passionate about whatever he wants to yeah. do. Yeah. Val is, really wants him to dance or be musical. <laughs> I mean, you know, none of my parents paved the way for, for this career. So right. I want to finally have a Nepo baby, you know? Like, yeah. if we have access, <laughs> why not make it easier for him? Absolutely. But, uh, but the truth is, I just want him to be healthy and passionate, like she said, and whatever he does, I want him to do full heart and full but skin. But yeah. he did just start dancing. We put on this song specifically, and it comes on, and he just... He starts moving. Yes, and it's like a stone cold face, which just moves a little bit. Some grooves, it is the cutest thing in the world. Well, I love it, because when you talk about just having passion, uh, you have passion. Both of you guys are, are you know, defi uh, definitely mirror ball trophy winners, but you just took home your third mirror ball trophy vow. You were with Marvel star Sochi Gomez. And this is your third trophy, but it had been a number of years. Did you feel like uh, the curse was lifted for you? Yeah, yeah, it's it's been seven years since I've won, which was you know I'm, I'm getting up there. I told you it's, it's yeah. been twelve years since we danced. Twelve years. Uh, so it, it, it's been a testament to everything I've been through, and and you know Jen and I have been runners up. Yeah. You know now that we're we're a family. I mean her wins are are my wins. Her right. losses are my losses. <laughs> and, uh, so she she was runner up two years in a row, and then I was runner up last year, and we were placed in the same spot. It's On the mm. same side every time, getting second place, and I was like, this is a curse. <laughs> this side is a curse! So this year, they placed me on that same spot in the bottom two, and uh, you know, this time we broke the curse, and we, we were lucky enough to win. You and Sochi were amazing, watching both of you. And one thing I, I was so sad about, uh, we lost a legend, Lynn Goodman. Yeah. And you both choreographed a tribute to him. You know, dancing is such passion and emotion. Was, was it hard to do that dance? It was very overwhelming because, you know, the show reiterated how important this piece yeah. was and how do you take so many years of an icon and put it into a three minute dance. Um, so I think it, we knew what we had to do and so I think we were laser focused in the process. Yeah. But then once we performed it, I wish you could have been in that room and felt that energy. No one made a sound. Everyone was crying the whole yeah. time, and I think just we had the same purpose was to dedicate this to to Len Goodman, and it it turned out to be one of my favorite creations that we've ever done for sure on the show. So it was a really beautiful moment for Len us. Len Goodman was so was such a wonderful man. Uh, I remember when we danced, and I did everything wrong in our proud Mary <laughs> dance. But he said he, he said everything was wrong for you, but the f and fun, yeah. and that just lifted my spirits up so much because I was like, can you tell it to Val because I did everything <laughs> wrong. <laughs> But I, one thing that is exciting me, uh, you both are now on the Dancing with the Stars tour. Yes. So you're going everywhere. You got to tell us about this tour. It's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's... awesome. <laughs> I'm just watching myself dance. He's like, oh, dance. Dance. <laughs> like that. That I said, good. what are you looking at? <laughs> Don't it look it. like your sweat smells good? Look yeah. at that. Four years since we've done the Dancing with the Stars tour. Yeah. And you know, life's happened. I was pregnant, then we had our baby, so we've missed out. And to be back on the road performing for our fans live has been so awesome. And the fact that, you know, the show accommodated our family to do it together. Yes. Rome's on the road with us. He's sleeping on a tour bus. It's just wild. Oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we had a moment this past week while performing, and I was backstage watching him, and I was just like, what is our life? I'm so grateful right now, you know? I'm Working mom, you. We're, we're doing it, we're making it happen, and, and this show really, it's, it's I think my favorite tour that I've been part of. Yeah. This is what I gotta say about the tour. I remember going on, watching you when you're on tour before, 12, 13 years ago, and I said, and I watched you dance, Val, and it was so much energy. You, like, you gotta go to the tour, because yes. the energy, it was so live, and I said, oh my gosh, if I ever do Dancing with the Stars, I wanna dance with this man right here. And I got 